Wow. Here's where you see just the stitch. Wow. Indeed. The zigzag. I think my initial reaction was it's moving. The ripple. I mean, it really made me think it's going to fall off the table. We always describe your clothes. She loves the feeling of movement and... And, and, and the kicking on the sure. knee. Sure. There's, there's a rhythm good. created by your clothes and your body in motion that's, that's when essential. When they come together. To not just be practical with a garment tells you you're thinking design. Think of how fearless to take a piece that probably they would use normally in architecture, in their architecture, and say, I'm going to wear that yeah. <laughs> around my waist. That's daring. That's yeah. avant-garde. Yeah, completely avant-garde. It's like wearing a soft tree. That's how close to nature it is. Automatically you think, oh, that's going to be painful or it's going to rub. It's totally soft. Yeah, it's so pliable. Yeah. You're going from such a smooth linen-y feel here to this velvety, yeah. tufted, ropey. What would you describe this texture? Like a ropey terry cloth, right? Ropey terry cloth. <laughs> It's a, it's, this is a real braille piece, in fact. If you, if yeah. you couldn't see and you ran your, yeah, your, you would your hands through this, you feel the you're, texture you're of feeling, wearing it. Yes, mm. and you're feeling so many different yeah. terrains. It smells nice, too. It smells nice. He smells everything. It does smell I'm nice. Just about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> smells natural. It smells like you really do smell the, the, the wheat or the, the grass. I smell grass. Don't get Don't and go a little, on it. A little earth. You use so much in your work uh, patchworking and yeah. different materials married to each other on purposely, sometimes very well, rough, like she'll go from a tweed to a lace or from a, a silk chiffon to a denim. The most crucial part is how do you end it? So oh, this is the, yes. I'm seeing this as the ending. How do you finish? And this could just be an endless coil that then yeah, it gets is married. A coil. So they, you yeah. open it as you put it on. This is definitely Amazing. made in the round. No, is this machine done at all? You think this moment here? I, you sure you don't have a little machine I, hidden somewhere? I can't imagine. <laughs> See those transitions? I love. When you put fabrics together, you always have to think of that transition because the, the weave has different spacing in between the threads. So you've got to think, how are they going to come together and marry one another? It's something Isabel always mm. uses in her own work. It's never automatic how you marry this scene to yeah. that. There's, there's always, always three a transition. Or four other things yeah, there's another, like that. there's little mysterious yeah. air spaces and things we going all, on. all solve the same way. Right, but, <laughs> but it's funny because you allow, like this, you allow the construction to inform what the final oh, thing yeah. looks like. Yeah. Most people hide the construction right. because they want to get to the finished look. You, you let the construction it's, make the final It's part thing. of the ornamentation right. in a way, instead of just applying ornamentation, that is letting the technique ornament at the same time. Very pure, very, very pure.